guys welcome back to my channel hope you are all well so for today's video i wanted to do something a little different i actually came up with this idea a few weeks ago or a few days ago and this is something i haven't really noticed other people filming on youtube they probably have but i haven't noticed it personally from the channels that i am subscribed to so i thought it'd be a cool idea to film something like this so what i wanted to film as you can tell by the title of this video is um, using one product for multiple uses so with that I mean um, being able to use a simple product and have many uses for it and find many purposes for it more than what its original or um, marketed purpose is used for obviously if that makes sense so yeah I thought that'd be a fun video super casual and hopefully super quick as well so you're not here for 40 minutes like always so yeah I hope you guys enjoy and please continue watching so the first product I wanted to speak about is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid and this is the Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. Now you can use, I'm pretty sure, any kind of glycolic acid for this but this is just the one I have and the one I like because the Ordinary is a very uh, affordable brand and they have very great products if you um, do research and check them out. So I'm actually going to be, I have notes written here so I don't forget anything so if you see me looking down here on my iPad please ignore it and I'm sorry about that but I know I will not be able to remember everything I wrote down so um, glycolic acid is an AHA it's a chemical exfoliant which speeds cell turnover and it increases collagen production and boosts moisture so you can use glycolic acid as an acne treatment um, because it can reach deep within your pores it can dissolve oil and uh, dissolve dead uh, skin cells. It can also be used for anti-aging because anti-aging because it increases hydration and helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Um, one of my favorite uses for glycolic acid is it helps with ingrown hairs. So um, it's often bonds of dead skin. So if you're using it on places where you find you have ingrown hair, it helps a lot. Um, Glycolic acid also helps a lot with keratosis pilaris, which is basically another word for it would be like strawberry skin, those dots you get on your legs from shaving after. And this is because it helps with cell turnover as well. And the other um, use of this that I really, really like is using this as a deodorant. Now that might sound very strange because it's not like there is a shortage of deodorant on the market obviously there's really good deodorant out there but the reason why i like this is if you're someone that um sweats a lot or deals with odor uh, this is really good for helping with bad odors under your arm and it's really good for sweating the thing with um antiperspirants now on the market is they all contain aluminum now i personally don't use antiperspirants with antiperspirants with aluminum because um it's been it's been shown to not be good for you and um there's studies done as to how it can lead to illnesses. So I've just personally stopped using them. So I use deodorants with no um, aluminum and I use a, like deodorant sprays with no aluminum. And the thing is, there's a difference between antiperspirants and deodorants. Antiperspirants help with sweating and then deodorants just help with odor. And this just helps with underarm odor. So you're not dealing with it all day. And if you're someone that deals with really dark um, skin or like what's it called? pigmented underarms um, which tends to happen if you're someone that's on the darker skin tone side like that's something I deal with um, glycolic acid is really good for helping with that I would not recommend using this right after shaving because that would burn your underarms so maybe wait a few hours or um, wait a day if you'd like but I've used it after a few hours and it's not that bad I've actually used it right away too so nothing bad has happened and I love this um, I did buy this to use as a toner but I just feel like it's really harsh to use on my face so I don't like it as that personally. This is obviously sold as a toner, so you can definitely use it. I'm sure if you dilute it, it'll be great, but I've just found other uses for this and that is what I use it for. The next product is something you guys have heard me speak about on this channel, I'm sure many, many times, and that is hyaluronic acid. Now this certain one is from The Ordinary again. Now hyaluronic acid is a great um, universally for everybody. You guys know that it is super hydrating and it's a dry person's best friend to be honest. Hyaluronic acid is uh, naturally produced by our body so it promotes healthier and more supple skin and can speed up wound healing. This is something I learned while doing my research on these products which I thought was very interesting. Um, this is what I would use alongside microneedling when I used to do it. I haven't done microneedling in 
a really long time it must be like close to a year at this point and it is non-irritating it does not trigger acne it does not trigger eczema it does not trigger rosacea and you will not be getting any kind of allergic skin reaction from this product so that's what is so great about it it's super gentle and high um, hyaluronic acid recently has been used on hair and this is because because of its hydrating properties people have found that this is really good to hydrate your hair follicles and it's really good for your scalp if you're someone that deals with an itchy scalp like a dry scalp and you deal with flakiness or even dandruff this is really good for hydrating your hair and your scalp if you put here i haven't used this on my ends before but i have used it on like my scalp and i find that it does help a lot if you're someone that deals with itchiness so overall i think this is so good um for skincare properties it's really good right after you wash your face i do prefer using this damp this is good mixed into foundations it's good alongside other skincare products this is just something you can use with everything and it is amazing like you can use hyaluronic acid alongside everything you own um dry person's best friend as i said so yeah and if you get the ordinary one it is less than ten dollars and you can get the bigger or smaller size and it's still super affordable so yeah this is a great great product you guys know i swear by this so my next product you guys are gonna think is very very weird and very very random but it is something that works and this is something that is super inexpensive and you are probably thinking why would you have this probably the last thing you'll think of but this actually is super useful you can definitely find use for it and most of you might already have this at home I think I'm not sure you might so that is contact solution now I know this sounds very very weird and you're probably wondering how the heck does this have anything to do with beauty related uses but contact solution is really really good for reviving old mascara now you guys know if you have mascara you shouldn't ideally keep it for too long because it is something you're applying to your eyelashes which is very close to your eyes and you don't want to deal with any kind of eye infections um, especially if you shower mascaras or just because you know over time your mascaras aren't meant to be used that long I think you're supposed to throw them out every three months which yeah right uh, I don't do that so do as I say not as I do so yeah it's really good for reviving old mascara mascara that's been dried up or if you are uh, if you have bought a mascara that is like typically a drier formula a drop of this helps a lot too. Uh, secondly is this is a really good on-the-go stain remover and by stain remover I mean like something like if you drop a little ketchup this helps this helps with hot sauce and it's so weird you think that that's the strangest thing. Uh, secondly this is really good for cleaning electronic devices which is unbeauty related obviously but if you're looking to clean the surface of your iPad or your laptop this is really good to clean with because it gets rid of bacteria because it's obviously cleaning contact lenses so it's good at cleaning bacteria it's also really good to use as a backup product or as a secondary product if you have a small cut and you don't have anything else to use just because this is uh, essentially really close to being salt water not really but you know it has sodium in it so yeah if that makes sense uh another good use of this is that it can intensify eyeshadows if you're dealing with an eyeshadow that's you know maybe getting a little dried or it's a little older like i said again don't keep these stuff for too long but yeah i do it's really good for intensifying that and just reviving a little bit you don't need more than a drop because you don't want to turn it into a liquid eyeshadow unless that's what you want i don't know and Lastly, this is really good for cleaning around the eye area. If you make mascara mistakes or eyeliner mistakes, this is really good for cleaning it up without removing all your makeup. It's also really good because it won't irritate your eyes. It's not highly fragrant and it's not obviously chemically in anything. So it's really good for cleaning eyeliner mistakes. If you wear eyeliner, I don't. But yeah, I've used it to clean mascara before um, and it helps a lot too. So yeah, really random, but don't knock it until you try it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, next product is something called aloe vera gel. Now, if you guys uh, have the liberty and luxury of having an aloe vera plant in your house, I'm sure using that is probably 10 times better than using the actual gel, like this bottle gel, but I obviously don't have an aloe vera plant. Um, I don't think I could keep a plant alive, to be honest. But anyways, aloe vera gel is amazing. I think I've bought like 10 of these bottles before. I just love aloe vera gel. First of all, this is really good to mix in with your body cream. When I get out of the shower, I have to lather my body in body cream because I am as dry as 
the Sahara and this is all year round I still need to put body cream on and this is especially good in the summer when it's like super cold um, I know aloe vera gel is really good uh, post sun if you freeze it into little ice cubes and put them in the freezer and you've been out all day in the summer heat just saying it is amazing so uh, aloe vera gel is also very good for helping with minor cuts obviously something that's not too big and um, something super small you know you don't want like a paper cut or something obviously not a big cut seek medical, uh, medical attention for that obviously this is a really good spot treatment when I was dealing with my acne uh, I really liked this as a spot treatment because it didn't dry out my skin a lot of the time spot treatments for acne contain salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or like um, witch hazel or like tea tree oil and all of those have shown to be super drying on my skin so I've liked to lean over to stuff like this because it just helps out and it also keeps your skin hydrated at the same time you can use aloe vera gel as a natural shaving cream I also I use this for dermaplaning on my face because I don't dermaplane without anything I'll either use an oil or aloe vera gel but I find this to be much better because with oils you just feel really greasy and not nice after and face oils are technically really expensive so I'm not about to use like $60 face oils on my face to just dermaplane so I like this I get this at Walmart it's like five bucks you guys it's the best and you can find aloe vera gel I'm sure anywhere just try to find the most natural version uh, this one is says it's a hundred percent pure aloe vera gel I just want to see the ingredients because yeah it has like a list of ingredients four ingredients so it's technically not a hundred percent natural but yeah um, this is also very good to help with bug bites so once spring and summer start here all these little bugs come out and if you get bit by a mosquito spider ooh, it makes me just shiver um, this is really good to apply and it'll help and soothe itchiness or any of the like irritation you get and lastly this is really good to apply on dry cracked feet at night so with warmer months or if you're somewhere that if you're someone that lives in like a warm atmosphere to begin with and you wear lots of flats or sandals using this at the end of the night and just putting socks on helps so much um, as you guys know aloe vera is just super hydrating and it is also very 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 good for stretch marks now this is something I saw on like a Facebook YouTube page or something and I thought it was like I thought it was uh, you know no it was like light I'm like there's no way and I used this on stretch marks that I had and it actually did work so if you guys are looking for something to help with stretch marks not that there's anything wrong with them I actually think they're really cool uh, yeah this is really good so check it out <laughs> Okay, the last product, I um, I have two, but I'm just going to show them together because I feel like they're um, the same kind of thing, but I use them interchangeably. And that is uh, Vaseline or, in the sense, uh, healing ointment. Now, this has been all the rage recently because people are using this to slug. And what that is, is they're taking large amounts of healing ointment or Vaseline, like the original OG Vaseline, and they're just putting it all over their face as their last step in their skincare routine. And they're finding that this, this just creates a very um, moisturized and, uh, what's the word? hydrating barrier as the last step of their skincare routine before they go to bed now i personally don't slug i prefer to use hydrating face masks and use very hydrating serums and i am someone that is prone to milia you know those little dots around my eyes so if you're someone that's prone to uh getting big pores i would not suggest slugging as much maybe it's something you'd like to try once a week but i just feel like there's more negative than positive to it because it can lead to dirty pillow sheets if you turn around and toss and turn. Um, I think that it is good in a way because it's like the least expensive thing you can find and it's like it has its own benefits but I personally just don't slug but I know a bunch of people that do it's like all the rage right now and it's so weird because it's hard to find Vaseline which I've never dealt with in my life it's very strange. But um, besides that, these two have been really great. I have used these interchangeably. Now, everybody knows that you can use Vaseline for basically everything. Uh, my number one go-to stuff to use this for is to use on dry, cracked lips. This in uh, particular, I like for when my lips are really cracked because this is more of a healing ointment. And I think they both have um, 
petroleum in them but i use this specifically when my lips are like cracked and bleeding because i find that it heals much faster than this but this obviously is great too both are really good for using on dry cracked feet i use this at night because i wear lots of flats and i put socks over it so my heels aren't as cracked um this is really good to use on dry cracked feet this is really good to use on any like dry patches of skin like on your elbows or on your knees and another one of my favorite uses for this is to use on tattoos this one specifically like after your tattoo has healed so this is really good to use um check with your tattoo artist for that because i know not everybody has tattoos and lastly this is really good if your skin chafes a lot like if you are someone that deals with thigh chafing this is really good to use um i know people have used baby powder before i personally haven't uh, and chafing is not something I deal with, but I know that a lot of people use this for thigh chafing as well. So yeah, you guys know this is good for like anything. You can use it on your lips, you can use it on your face, I guess. I've seen a lot of people using this as eye cream and I really wish I could because my eye creams are so expensive, but I just know I'd get milia. So I don't want to receive more milia than I already have. So I'm just going to stick to using this for everything else but my eyes and face. So yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful and interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.